Welcome back to another fishing boat video, but today we're going to be adding emergency life rafts and more. Let's get started. So my worry is that we'll hit a rock and then we will sink, but then we'll have nowhere to really go. So I'm thinking with all this extra space up here, we could kind of fill it up with maybe a life raft or two. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So let's open up our workbench and kind of find something off of workshop here that I already have subscribed to. Let's go ahead and type in life raft. And there we go. So now we have a whole bunch of um, actual life raft here. Let's go ahead and see how big this one is. Yeah, I don't know if this one's going to work. It has like an entire engine on it. I don't think we need an engine. Yeah, that's just definitely too big. All right, let's see what the next one is. The next one is this um, very small lifeboat. So this should fit since it's very small. Um, Let's see. Okay, we're going to rotate it like this. Um, Yeah, that's. I don't think that's really small, guys. I, that's just really wouldn't fit, I don't think. I would like to have a lifeboat like this, but this one's just too big. Even though it is pretty small in here, it's just too big, unfortunately. So let's go ahead and switch to this next one here. Okay, so now we have a really small um life raft here. This one looks promising. It's actually really small. So let's move this to the back right here. Okay, it's a little bit big. Um, How should we do this? So if I rotated it, it would block the entire way for the ladder. Um, yeah, we can't even fit it in there if we wanted to. Um, yeah, that wouldn't work. Then we do have this last one here, which is a tiny life raft. It does not have an engine on it. Like clearly, um, there's just really not a whole lot of room actually on it. So how should we do this? Should we have like one right here? I don't even know. Would this even work? Um, it's just really small. Okay, so there's two seats. So we need two of those because we have four crew. So maybe we could put like one right here and then we could put another one right here here but that kind of like block this area i mean actually that would work so we could do something like that or we could rotate it let's see how this would work so we could push it in even a block um farther maybe even a couple so we could do a block like that so we could put one right there and then right there would that work oh my gosh it actually might work and then we're gonna spawn one to the side over here to make sure it actually floats because i've actually never um tested this before all right so we're putting those two life rafts right there okay um oh oh gosh okay i think we need to strap those down to be honest but um it kind oh that really doesn't look that pretty yeah, what the heck? Um, honestly, even if these do flip over, it'll be fine. You know, we'll figure it out in the situation. So we're just going to place these sideways, I think. I don't really like any of the other ones. They're, this one's just definitely going to have to work. So we're going to put that there. And then we're going to put the other one probably like right there, but over one block. All right, that'll work. It actually perfectly fits. But then how should we like keep these actually down, like tied down while we're driving? Okay, so as you can see, when we spawn it in, uh, yeah, they go a little bit. Yeah, we don't want that happening. <laughs> All right, so I think I have an idea. We'll delete that block right there. And... And I think we'll have to delete that one too. So we're going to grab two ropes and these ropes will actually tie down the lifeboat. Okay, so the ropes will also be on this side over here. We'll just tie it down like that. And then there'll also be one directly across from that one, not in the way of the stairs. Though. All right, perfect. And then we actually need to connect them. So if there is an emergency, we'll just have to disconnect the ropes, which um, kind of makes sense. I mean, I'd hope you'd have to do that. And then, all right, so let's see if it actually flies in the air. Um, All right, it stayed down. That is a good thing. And I think those are really staying there. Okay, we're going to test this. Turn on Mac max wind max wind is on okay i don't want it to go like directly in front of us we need to change the direction a little bit make it more daytime here yeah so even from sideways those things i don't think those are going anywhere so that'll definitely work then i was also thinking we need to add like actual portholes on these um on this wall right here it's just looking a little bit too plain honestly we could just add a porthole right here i feel like that'd look good so let's go ahead grab ourselves a porthole and we're gonna grab the small one because we don't want something huge um should we put one there um i think that would look good maybe a little bit taller though should we do it taller hold on let's Let's go on the inside, actually see if we can look at it. But I think that's actually probably the perfect height for that. Um, all right, so I think it looks good from the outside. Maybe should we add another one? Um, I don't know. Here, how about this? We'll put two on that side and we'll only have one on this side because over here we'll probably put like something that deals with the captain or something. I don't know. Okay, so we'll do that. We'll paint all the insides brown and there we go. Now we have some actual windows in this thing. Then what I wanted to do is actually add a boiler. So this will heat up water for our um, actual shower and it'll activate all the heaters or it won't activate them. It'll make it so the heaters actually work. So we're gonna be making the boiler so let's make some pipes for it so we're gonna grab some just normal straight pipes like this and then i want it to get a little bit like thicker on the bottom and we'll just line it like that there we go and then we need to connect um these also straight to the ground and then we'll just put like a little bit of a filter of some sort just to add like some more you know design to it and there we go so now we have like a little boiler system but why don't we make like a key button here to actually start the boiler um it's not gonna really do anything it'll just um we'll have it just activate those heaters like down here so that's what we'll do so we'll connect this directly to those heaters right there and then we actually need a relay to get connect all of this electric so we're gonna grab ourselves e relay here and where should we even put this i have no idea i guess there's room above the battery so we'll just put that there and then to relay state will be connected to that 
and then electric will be um electrical b will be no we want electrical a to be connected to the main breaker right there then we'll have electrical b be connected to all the heaters which we really don't have a whole lot of heaters right now so we'll just connect this what are the heaters already connected to um they're connected to electrical engine power what the heck okay but um now that we got a boiler why don't we go spawn it in and actually um test if it works i mean it's not gonna work we're, like we're gonna test if our like prop system actually works for it so let's turn on our really cool looking lights in here honestly i like these lights so let's turn on our boiler here which doesn't have electric all right boiler is being activated there we go and it activates those heaters and then if we disconnect it it cuts off the heaters like permanently so it even turns off the electric for them which is the cool part and then if we turn on the boiler it'll actually kind of heat it up with those heaters so it's kind of cool how we got that set up but i did um kind of fix our fuel polishing system with our battery weight why do i have to turn on our okay i don't even know then of course we can't forget to like actually add heaters all around this thing so where should we put a heater at in here you know why don't we put it on the wall is that um breaking anything i don't think so so we'll just put one on the wall right there perfect so that's the only heater we'll have in the engine room the engine room does get pretty hot on its own so i don't really think it needs uh, a whole lot of heaters to be honest then we'll put one right here under our um countertop thing uh we'll put it right there then since we're kind of adding like emergency stuff today why don't we add two generators in this thing even though those really aren't for emergencies we just use those for like general use basically and i think we're going to be using the same generator we used in our research submarine and it is a really good generator honestly i like it a whole lot so we're going to definitely stuff this thing in there so we're going to put our generator thing right here and then where's the buttons at oh gosh it's like in the wall there okay we'll have to move that over what's in the way um oh we have like an electrical connector there okay we're going to move that there there we go we got it rotated over and i think right there would definitely definitely work it's pushed perfectly against the wall so we'll put it there all right there we go so then we can turn it on and off from there and we have to do the same thing with this other side here then we're going to merge it in of course all right there we go so now we have two generators in this thing but we can't forget to actually connect to like our fuel and air so we need to connect this air maybe our main airline um actually i don't even know maybe we'll just connect it to these stacks right up here so they actually do something all right so we're connecting the air manifold we're going to line it straight into the ceiling here and then it will um delete this main block right here and then it'll just line straight into that smokestack here or not the smokestack it's just like a big stack right there all right perfect and then our exhaust is this pipe right here okay so how should we line this one we're gonna have to have it kind of like curve a little bit forward here and what is this our fuel tank thing um is this, this is actually where we refuel this thing at okay so we're gonna have to make a whole another valve for that too okay this is gonna be a process so we'll just line it right next to our um actual air intake and we'll just line it directly right next to it just like that so we got some major piping going on here so we're gonna have it turn like that and then it'll turn up and then we need a straight that goes straight up and there we go that one is done and same with that one actually it's not done yet we have to align those and then we have to just connect that then we can't forget to um repaint our ceiling in here that cool color all right there we go paint it brown how it used to be and there we go so now we have some air and fuel so which one's actually air so i think this left one right here yep so this one's um our exhaust and then this one's our air so we're gonna want our air to actually be a little bit forward here so our air is probably gonna be on the way front right there and then our exhaust will just probably leave right there so for air they just had the um air actual like filter on it so we'll grab ourselves an air filter and then the air ram is what they used to put out the exhaust so we'll have it face away from the air filter so it doesn't get anywhere near that i mean it is pretty close but let's um test it here so is everything all connected i think so and then we'll have to make a button here to actually um, power our main battery because I want these generators to be on like a completely different um completely different battery just in case our main battery runs out and then these things need to start i don't want them to be completely drained so then we're gonna grab ourselves a relay here and then we're gonna put it right where our um, battery stuff is at and we're gonna actually need two of them do we have enough room um we only have yes we do perfect all right we have just enough room here then we'll connect this electrical a right here to this um electrical thing there and then the electrical thing over here perfect there we go i think we got everything connected besides fuel but we can do that after in a bit here the um actual generator itself has its own fuel tank which is the cool part Part. so let's go ahead snow clip in this thing and turn on some lights here we're going to turn on our generator right here so generator will activate there we go let's turn up our volume i did install an engine mod so it will sound pretty cool all right that does sound like an actual generator that is pretty loud oh gosh okay turn that down all right so we got a generator running um it is working so this powers on 100 as you can see then over here it is lowering so if we have this generator on and connected to the main breaker the battery drains actually much less um faster there so if we disconnect it it'll go really fast if we connect it it'll go really slow so i think we'll have to have both generators actually on here to actually have this work so as you can tell it is running and then that's our electric going down right there and now if we connect this one it'll actually definitely probably go up here so there we go and then if we turn both of them on a high mode here it'll go really fast here 
It's going to get really loud. All right, so there you go. Our Electro's showing up now really quick. Really does sound like an engine room down here. It sounds like you're actually like in it in real life. It's actually insane. I love this mod. But as you can see, it'll fully charge our main battery there. So we have to have both generators running to actually charge our main battery. That's completely fine. Um, I'm fine with it. That will use an insane amount of fuel. So I don't know how we're going to do this exactly. Um, you might just have to actually extend our fuel tank and make it bigger, which I really don't want to do. But we'll probably have to do that because this will definitely overheat here in a bit. So where's our how hot is it? Um, it's at 54 Celsius. Actually, that's not even hot. It's not that bad, but it'll, it'll definitely overheat. I can tell you that. So now what we need to do is actually connect our fuel line to our generator. So right here we have our little fuel hose. We're going to grab a pipe and this pipe will just line straight into our fuel tank going up just like that. We're going to make a gray because I like the gray color better. So we'll make it go up like that. Maybe uh, we might have to go up a little bit more. So we'll go up right there. We'll grab a pipe, which will go straight into that wall. And then we'll grab a um, actual nozzle and we'll grab a fluid port because actually this wall right here is our fuel tank. So I did connect the fuel tank to this bilge pump area just so we have even more fuel in this thing. So we'll do that. And then we have to put a hole in the wall right there for our fluid port. And we'll just connect our port just like this. And then we have to actually replace something here. So I'll show you what it is. So this thing does have its own fuel on it. So where's our fuel button at? Um, I don't know. It has its own fuel button. We're going to see if that actually changes now. So fuel should always be um, higher than 31 here. So we're going to turn on um, generator on and it shouldn't really go down. Um, we're going to see here, though. Yeah, it's not going down. That is a good thing. Um, geez, these things are really loud. Okay, turn this down. Holy, okay. Literally, it sounds like we're in a generator room in real life, which is honestly, I just like this mod so much. But um, yep, this is working. Our fuel is staying the same. Um, our fuel calculator is definitely going down though. Um, it's being quite interesting. I don't know why it's saying we don't have a whole lot of range. This is uh, it's kind of, it sometimes works, this fuel calculator, but it sometimes doesn't. But we have around 18,000 liters of fuel in this thing, so I think we'll be fine. That's like four or five thousand gallons so that's definitely good enough but um yep the generators are working let's try this one too i forgot about this one all right so this generator is also on there's no smoke coming out there it is okay so there was smoke and then if we turn it on high mode it'll definitely put out some smoke so high mode puts out a whole bunch more smoke i can tell you that Yep, so there it is. It actually looks like our engines, even though it's not our engines. It's just our generators. But um, both of them do work. Our fuels are staying both the same, 31.25. All right, everything's looking good in here. We got generators now. That's good. And then what I wanted to do is actually have a working hydraulic on and off valve. So we'll have like some type of hydraulic system in here. Um, hydraulics will control our rudder right here. That's basically the only hydraulic we have and um, some of these wenches actually. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So let's grab ourselves a pump. Once again, this is for props. This doesn't actually... Um, work just to actually have the engineer do some more stuff i don't want it to be boring down here and it's definitely not gonna be all right so we'll probably have our hydraulic system like right here we're gonna have it be like this weird um green color i don't know why just i want to have it kind of color coded but not have the colors be like too wild so we'll do something like this and then in this thing we're going to have a um manual what is it called um valve right here and this valve we're gonna make like a gray color so you can actually see it this valve will just turn the system on and off we're gonna grab ourselves a tank which we'll put right here and then we're gonna grab ourselves a enclosed um pipe just like this we're gonna grab that one and it'll just go straight into that one just like that and then we're actually gonna want to switch this um fresh water thing um or diesel thing to fresh water because that's definitely necessary and then we'll put that on like um 100 and there we go we got some hydraulic stuff going on here we need to actually lead this to some stuff so we'll just put it straight into this wall here to make it look like it's going through the walls and stuff so we'll do that and then we have a little bit of extra room right there so we're gonna grab ourselves a pressure sensor and this will detect how much pressure is actually going through our hydraulic system them here then we're gonna grab a dial and this dial will read how much hydraulic pressure we have we'll put this dial um probably like right here perfect spot right here um will that work yes it will perfect make it that color and then we'll do hydraulic pressure then we'll connect hydraulic pressure to that. Then since we have enough room right here for another button, I think, let's see if we do. So we'll put a toggle button right here. Yes, we do. All right, so this will keep the hydraulic pressure system on. So we'll turn this on. This will always be on. So you don't have to like manually go down here and actually start it. But we connected that to that pump right there. And I think we have everything all set up here. So let's go ahead, bond it in, actually test it out. And then we're gonna make this backlight right here perfectly white. And then we have to do the same thing for some other stuff over here. All right, let's go check out our new hydraulic system. So that should always be on. Oh, it doesn't have electric. All right, so let's go see our hydraulic thing working now. So hydraulic pressure is actually reading some pressure. It's negative, though. Um, the valve's not even open, so I don't know how that works. All right, so now we're going to open the valve here, and now we have some flow going in it. There 
there we go so now our pressure is kind of doing some interesting stuff there but we do have a flow 75 liters a second that's actually really good and then with this hydraulics on thing we're gonna make a relay which will connect to all the winches and actual steering for this thing so you're definitely gonna want to keep that thing on all right so we just switched all that electrical stuff up now so let's go ahead and test this thing out all right so we're in our captain seat right now we're gonna do a and d so our rudder clearly does work and then we're gonna go down here turn off our um actual hydraulic pump here and now let's see if it actually works without our hydraulic pump it doesn't even move at all that thing is just definitely sitting there dead so yeah i'd say the system does work pretty good that is working and i also connected the hydraulics to um all of our wenches here i think they use hydraulics i don't know if they don't i'll just switch it to um back to electric but as you can see none of our wenches actually work either or our anchors which i do still have to add which i'll probably do that off screen because that's a quite interesting process but now I wanted to make like a navigation system over here instead of having like this table. So I want to actually have like a seat. So we're going to move this table probably back um, in this free area back here because there's a whole bunch of room. So why don't we just put it back here? So we'll probably just put the seat right here. It will not be like raised or anything because it's like not really crazy important. But that also means we're going to have to move all this equipment over here, which we can do. I think we're going to put it in the engine room. Um, I wasn't really expecting to put it ever down there, but you know what? Why not? It's the only place I really think of where we could actually she put it and honestly the only place to put it is exactly where this locker is at which is quite unfortunate but i mean it would work right there so we're gonna put the locker outside of the boat for now because we're probably gonna put it somewhere else but all right now that we got our stability system over here we're gonna put it straight into this wall do we have enough room oh we have more than enough room all right so we should put it probably like right here and then we could probably put um a whole bunch more dials here so that is a good thing we'll merge that in make sure it's the engine room wall color actually we're gonna have it be like a little bit of a lighter color there we go all right now that we have a hole in our actual boat we need to block that off or else we would actually completely flood when we spawn this in um that's stormworks logic for you even though that wouldn't even go underwater but let's kind of start up here in our navigation system so we're gonna fill that wall in and then we're gonna probably have like a robotic pivot like right here um uh, maybe a little bit lower definitely lower probably and then what do i even want displayed on that monitor maybe like some type of autopilot oh we can't even put that there we need to back the seat up but if we do we can't even walk through there how do we do this you know we don't need the seat to be that big you know we're just gonna do something like this we're gonna grab some pipes it's not going to be a crazy seat like at all. We're going to make it this like lighter color like that. We're going to grab two seats and it's going to be that going to be this like little basic seat like this because there's really no other point to have a big seat like that. All right. So now we have enough room for like a monitor. Um, That's about all we have enough room for. We're definitely going to put some more stuff. We're probably going to put like autopilot in this thing. That'll be off screen because that's going to be um, a little bit complicated. And I also wanted to add a radio system. And this is what this navigation person over here that uh, would be basically operating. So we're going to put in our two radios right here. Highly advanced radios of course we're gonna grab this one put it right where our um actual fake antenna is at then we're gonna put all those buttons right there all right we got everything all connected besides electric all right so let's go ahead and test our brand new radio out um hello hello oh my god that definitely works okay i'm sorry if that was loud but um yeah game chat in this game really needs to like have some audio optimization to be honest but everything's going to plan everything looks good um we need to have this um actually monitor thing here curve actually it's not going to be a monitor we'll have it be something else here so where is this button connected to it's like like a constant number somewhere down here so for this we're gonna have our waypoint and nope that's not what it is um it's actually called a keypad all right there we go so that'll be our actual like autopilot right there and to turn on autopilot we're gonna grab ourselves a key button here and this will turn on our um, autopilot system so we'll have it be like that so there we go we got that working and everything's all looking good in here let's turn on our monitors real quick to, it actually looks much better in here with all these on but that's probably gonna be it for this fishing boat building video we added a whole bunch of stuff today but of course let me know what we should add next in the comments i don't know if there really is a whole lot to add this could be the last video who knows make sure you guys like and subscribe hit that bell thanks for watching and goodbye